Good morning. Figured I'd talk to you today about traveling. Now, I just got back from traveling to New Jersey. Um, my very good friend Ryan, also known as Rhino Sirius, is getting ready to travel um, to help his girlfriend travel. I'm looking forward to my next trip to travel. It, it, it seems like all we do in today's modern society is go other places than where we live. Now, thinking back to when I grew up, I'm not old enough that planes weren't commonplace, but traveling was kept at the minimum. It was something you did in the summer with family. But now we travel so much. We travel so far. We go all kinds of different places. What made traveling so commonplace that it's so well accepted now and people don't even second guess it? Um, so many different methods of traveling are available now. I had an awesome time on the Megabus. Uh, fairly straightforward, simple. Was cheaper than paying for gas in my truck, which I do have back now, by the way. Um, about the same time period, there was about an hour or two different. But this face slept instead of having to drive and deal with the wear and tear on my vehicle. Ryan's about to fly. Um, the flight cost him less than it's going to cost him in parking to go through it. And he's getting a deal on the parking. It's cheaper than driving the subway down, which is another form of transportation. Whatever happened to just dealing with people locally? When did we depart from that? Um, has our global communications made it so that we don't look at people near us anymore? Um, it's constantly being on social media like this or Facebook or Twitter or Periscope or Instagram made us lose touch with those that are around us. What will the world be like in another five to ten years? Like, will we not even know our next door neighbors? Like, I still haven't met my next door neighbors here. I've seen them. I've waved to them. I've given them the polite, hey, how's it going? Um, Ryan's talked to them. I remember growing up, I knew everybody in that neighborhood. My parents and my grandparents knew everybody in that neighborhood. We knew everybody for about a five block radius. I don't know how many people can say that anymore. People simultaneously live such private lives and at the same time such public life. Like, I don't know anything about my next door neighbor, but I know what somebody in California 3,000 miles away had for dinner and exactly what they thought about it. What does the internet do to us? How does it affect us? What is it doing to modern society? What can we do to change it to make the world a better place? There's some thoughts for you there. There's no right answer. I mean, I have a girl I'm talking to that lives a thousand miles away. I have friends that aren't even in the same country as me. People I deal with on a daily basis. I talk to more than somebody that lives upstairs from me. 
I'm so entrenched in other people's lives that are on the other side of the country, and I don't even know the people that live across the street from me. Is it right or wrong? I don't know. It's definitely the new way, though. Just some thoughts for you there. I'll see you again tomorrow.